Hey everyone, my name is Bailey. I am a travel content creator here, but mainly on TikTok. I talk all about life in your 20s and traveling in your 20s. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about my trip to Martha's Vineyard in August. I am currently back home in Florida, kind of just spending the month of September, hanging out here, getting a lot of work done, really just slowing down because I've been traveling a lot this past couple of months. And I'm getting ready to go on a bunch of exciting trips this upcoming fall. So this is kind of my month to just chill, do nothing, get a lot of work done and get back in a routine before I go on all these trips again. My trip to Martha's Vineyard was to go visit two of my friends that I've met while traveling. One's Lainey and then her sister Maddie. Me and Lainey met because I had posted on TikTok that I wanted to go to Hawaii and this was honestly last fall that I had posted this and she ended up DMing me saying I want to go to Hawaii too, let's go. We ended up hitting it off completely. We booked our flights to Hawaii, we ended up going for five weeks together and through her I got to know her sister Maddie who is a year older than us. So this was the first time that we all got to hang out, the three of us, which was really exciting and we got to discuss our fall travel plans because ever since I met Lainey we knew that we wanted to start traveling together more as like a regular thing. We're going to Belize and Guatemala, which I am so excited about, it's not even funny. I haven't got to do Central America a ton yet, I got to go to Costa Rica for a month in January but now we're going back for round two to explore two of the more lesser traveled countries compared to Costa Rica. Both of those have been on the bucket list for so long. Martha's Vineyard is a place that I've always wanted to go to, but it's also a place that I've always kind of thought was out of reach. It's one of those places you think about and you think of money, you think of wealth, you think of all these mansions on the water and it's like these millionaire vacation homes, which don't get me wrong, there is a place for that on the island, it does exist, but there is also a community of locals and a community of people who are just regular people that create this very homey, welcoming environment in the town. And well, all the towns, there's six of them. And that was something that I wasn't expecting was like this really small town feel where there's just the community that's building everyone up around it. A lot of the island is farmland and super foresty, which I just was not expecting at all. I think I'm so used to coastal towns in the Southern US. So, I mean, I live in Florida. That was the first time I'd ever been in the Northeast ever because my travels have kind of stopped at about Baltimore, DC area. But the first day I got there, I flew from Fort Lauderdale to New York City. I had a stop in LaGuardia Airport and then I flew again to Martha's Vineyard, which flying into the island was so nice. It just made everything so convenient. It was like a 20 minute drive then from their house. And the airport on Martha's Vineyard is the cutest thing ever. It is so tiny. You get off the plane and you're on the tarmac. People are like waving at their loved ones who are sitting there waiting to pick them up. And there's a little baggage claim area that is literally a window. Like they slide the bags through the window and everyone comes and picks them up. It's just, it's very wholesome and it's a great way just to get welcome to the environment of Martha's Vineyard of the like, small town feel. And then we ended up going to this flower farm. They get a lot of their vegetables from a CSA, which is like a community farm organization where you can get all your vegetables, you pay up front and then you go every week to pick them up. And they also have this part of the farm where if you do that, then you can also cut down your own flowers. And so we went and we cut a bouquet of flowers, just something to do to make use of our kind of rainy or gloomy first day. We ended up going to explore Edgar Town and because it finally started to clear up because it had been raining for the past 24 hours that I had gone in. And this is the first time that I'm ever seeing New England architecture, which is just so quaint and cute. I felt like I was living in this like patriotic small fishing town, which was weird. The next day was Saturday and we woke up and we went to a hot yoga class, which is something that I love doing whenever I'm traveling because I love doing it when I'm home too. So it's just this grounding experience and making me be able to keep a little bit of a routine. They have uh, the cold plunge guys it's just a cold plunge company on the island that came to the yoga class for free and so me and Lainey both got into the cold plunge and that was the first time I've ever done anything like that and we ended up staying in there for like three minutes it was one of those situations where I felt so like energized and I had so much like dopamine that I was so excited but then I feel like I could have also stayed in there so much longer and after you just feel so good about yourself you just need someone to force you to like get into the tub because that's the hardest part thinking about it when I'm at home like I would never just jump into a like, super cold bath by myself. I need like people to amp me up, but that was really fun. And then we went home and we made a pasta salad picnic to take to the beach with Lainey, Maddie, and one of their friends, Elise. And I love traveling with, especially with other people who already have like these communities.
communities and these foundations in their town because you get to meet all their friends and just meeting all these new people. And that has now become one of my favorite parts of traveling. I know when I first started traveling, I was so scared about meeting new people because it's very intimidating. My first trip was completely solo. I was backpacking around Europe for four months and I was just terrified that I was never gonna meet anyone. But then you start to realize that the travel community is just full of like-minded people who have similar values to you and they want to be your friend and get to experience these new places with you because that's really what made all the places so worth it. Everywhere I went, yes, it was so beautiful. The scenery was amazing. I was in new countries speaking new languages, but it was the people that caused a lot of my greatest memories and just experiencing new things with them. And so now when I go on trips, it's just meeting these travel people and just being open to these new experiences. And that's always what makes the trip 10 times better for me. Swimming up north is not for the faint part. I'm so used to Florida where our water is so warm. It's like almost bath water, especially in the summer. It's been crazy. It's been like 101 degrees if you go really far south. So that was a little bit of a shock. But then we just spent the rest of the night watching the sunset at the beach, going back home and just hanging out really. When I'm traveling, my goal is never to like see all the super crazy tourist things and completely jam pack my schedule. I just want to experience life in a new place. And that's a lot of the reason why I love traveling with my remote jobs because I still have a little bit of a routine and then I'm just getting to live my normal life, going to yoga classes, going for walks, going out to dinner, just in a new place. And so it makes it that much more exciting and fun. On Sunday, me and Lainey got up and we started exploring Up Island. It's really a different vibe compared to Eggertown, Vineyard Haven, and Oak Bluffs. And the drive itself was just so worth it. It was like a 30 35 minute drive to get up there and it's just beautiful farmland trees everywhere we were in maddie's jeep and so her jeep we took the doors off of it it was just one of those trips where the drive was just as exciting as the actual destination was and then we explored one of the fishing villages that they had there and went and picked up some fish from the local fish market brought it home a group of us ended up making a huge feast like we had so much food just trying to use up everything they had in their fridge cooked this amazing dinner all got to hang out and talk and make food and just have a really good night. Monday was another really chill day because obviously we all had to work again. So we were working in the mornings. We went to go to Vineyard Haven to get up some lunch from a local cafe. And then we came back, worked a little bit more. I ended up falling asleep. So I took a nap for most of the afternoon. But then we got up and we went to Eggertown to go walk around and go to the lighthouse, take a couple pictures and just explore there for my last night and maybe try and catch a sunset. There wasn't a great one, but it was, it was worth a shot. And like I said before, those are some of my favorite parts of just traveling is just getting to experience it with other people and do all the basic normal things but just have a community around you at least I live at home right now and so I don't have a ton of friends here and so I have to travel for my friendship and so it's actually going out of your way to get that quality time with people when you're in your 20s that is so special because that's when you know the friendships are real because when you're younger and you're in high school middle school it's so easy to have friendships because you're sitting next to each other in class or you're on the same sports teams and then you grow up and it becomes a lot harder because you have to go out of your way and make a commitment to these people that you want to be friends and you want to put an effort to be in their lives and so you start to realize that every friend you have truly has to add something to your life to make that commitment worth it. Tuesday was my last day and we went for a walk in the morning, went back to her house and worked a little bit more and then eventually Lainey drove me back to the airport and I flew out of Martha's Vineyard again back to LaGuardia Airport. Got to pass the Statue of Liberty on my way which was pretty cool the first time I've ever seen the Statue of Liberty because this past year I have flown through New York City like five separate times but I've never actually been to New York City. So I've seen the skyline five times this past year, but I need to actually plan a trip and go. It's just for some reason, New York City's never been calling my name. I'm just not a true big city girl and I just haven't made it a priority. I'd much rather go someplace in nature or on the coast. So that was it for my Martha's Vineyard trip. They had talked it up to me so much and it lived up to all the hype. I promise you, like it is so well worth it. It felt like this dream place that you get to experience. And I know I'm in Florida, so summers here are miserable. And so going up there was a little bit of an escape for me from the heat because it was honestly borderline cold at night. You need like pants and a long sleeve, which for me, that's insane to think about in August. So that is it for this video. Once again, I talk all about life in your 20s and traveling in your 20s. So if any of that interests you, please make sure you subscribe below. Maybe leave a comment about something you want me to talk about in the future or a different travel topic that you think that I should cover. But I will see you guys in my next video.